Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhor. I'm a master teacher at Vidantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2021 Paper One Mathematics, and the question for this video is this. You may pause the video to read the question very carefully. So here, uh, C is the locus of a point P such that product of the distances of this variable point P from these two given lines L1 and L2 is lambda square. So let that variable point P be h comma k. So that essentially means root 2 h plus k minus 1 by root 3 times root 2 h minus k plus 1 by root 3 is equal to lambda square. Now here you can club these two mods and you can multiply the terms inside. It is like alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha minus the same beta sort of thing. So it becomes alpha square minus beta square. So it is 2h square minus k minus 1 whole square by 3 uh, mod being equal to lambda square or you can write it this way mod of 2h square minus k minus 1 whole square is equal to 3 lambda square. So essentially in terms of x and y the locus is mod of 2x square minus y minus 1 whole square is equal to 3 lambda square. So this represents the curve C. Now it's given that this line y equal to 2x plus 1 meets C at two points R and S, distance between which is root 270. So let's say R be x1 comma y1 and uh, S be x2 comma y2. So what we have been given is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is equal to 270. Now here, since I'm looking for uh, intersection points between this curve C and this line y equal to 2x plus 1, let me solve them uh, simultaneously. So it becomes 2x square minus, instead of y, I can write as 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 minus 1 becomes 2x whole square, it becomes 4x square equal to 3 lambda square. So that means uh, you may say x square is 3 by 2 lambda square or you may say x is plus minus root 3 by 2 lambda. Now here uh, it doesn't matter whether lambda is positive or negative, plus minus takes care of it and even without, of lo without loss of generality we, we may even take uh, lambda to be positive because ultimately we are interested in lambda square. So here clearly what is x2 minus x1? It is essentially 2 times root 3 by 2 times lambda or you may say root 6 lambda taking lambda to be positive as such. Doesn't matter anyway, we are interested in lambda square. And so uh, x2 minus x1 whole square would become 6 lambda square plus what about y2 minus y1 whole square? So y2 is essentially 2x2 plus 1. y1 is essentially 2x1 plus 1. When you subtract, what you get is 2 times x2 minus x1 ka whole square. So basically it is 4 times x2 minus x1 ka whole square which is 6 lambda square. And uh, this is supposed to be 270. Or you may say uh, 30 lambda square is 270. Or you may say lambda square is 9. And that's what the answer of question 9 is. Lambda square is 9. Now the question 10 is talking about D, which is essentially square of distance between the two points R prime and S prime, which in turn mm -hmm. are actually the point of intersection of perpendicular bisector of uh, RS with the curve C. So what about perpendicular bisector of RS? So uh, it will be passing through the midpoint of RS and uh, it will be perpendicular to this uh, line y equal to 2x plus 1. So you may say the slope would essentially be minus half because the slope of RS would be 2. So for R prime S prime or line joining R prime and S prime it will be minus half and uh, it will pass through the midpoint of R and S. So uh, midpoint of R and S ka x coordinate would essentially be zero. Why? Because the x coordinates are uh, you know equal in the magnitude but opposite in sign. Yeah. And since that point will of course lie on this line because R S line segment lies on this line. So you put x to be zero and you get y to be one. And the slope is supposed to be minus half. So uh, the line that we are looking for whose intersection with C we are interested in uh, is y minus 1 equal to minus half times x minus 0 or you may say it is x plus 2y equal to 2. 
So the perpendicular bisector of RS turns out to be x plus 2y equal to 2. Let's say r prime be x3 comma y3, s prime be x4 comma y4. And what we are looking for, the value of d essentially is x4 minus x3 whole square plus y4 minus y3 whole square. And since, uh, you know, r prime and s prime are the point of uh, intersection of this line x plus 2y equal to 2 with the curve uh, c. So I'll uh, solve this equation with the equation of the curve uh, c, which is 2x square minus y minus 1 whole square come mod equal to 3 lambda square. Now this uh, lambda square is 9, so this essentially becomes 27. So solving this line with a uh, curve c equation and replacing uh, x in terms of y, we essentially get this, which essentially gives this, which in turn gives this, which in turn gives this, y equal to 1 plus under root 27 by 7 or 1 minus under root 27 by 7. So by this you can say y4 minus y3, or rather mod of it you may say, uh, would be what? It will be 2 times under root 27 by 7. And what we are looking for is x4 minus x3 whole square plus y4 minus y3 whole square. And what about x4 minus x3 whole square? So here x4 would essentially be 2 minus 2y4 because x4 comma uh, y4 and x3 comma y3 lie on this line. And x3 would be what? Uh, 2 minus 2y3. So uh, what it essentially becomes is x4 minus x3 whole square is 4 y4 4 minus y3 whole square. And what we have the other term is y4 minus y3 whole square. So what we are looking for is uh, 5 times y4 minus y3 whole square. And mod of y4 minus y3 is this. So it becomes 4 times 27 by 2. So basically it becomes a uh, by 7, my bad, and uh, so it essentially becomes 540 by 7, which when written up to two decimal uh, digits, or rather two digits after decimal, it becomes 77.14. So my answer to question 10 is 77.14. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.